Hello and welcome back to Shotgun King. Uh, I, I'm very bad at this game, but we're gonna get better. I, I, I'm gonna get better, I swear to God. Maybe I'll even learn how to play chess. I know how to play chess. I, I swear is it. I swear I know how to play chess. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance to learn. Um, I mean, there's other things going on as well. I think that the thing I'm failing at is it isn't just the chess part. It's also the upgrades part. Um, you gotta you gotta anticipate your foe. The foe, you, the, the the white pieces are always going to make the most obvious movement to put you into check. White king, negative three HP, negative one fire range. This is fine. King and queen, negative one HP. Queen's moves limited to one square for 15 turns. This is really nice. All pieces, negative one speed. Add two knights, add, this is a really, this is, both of these are great. There's like no downside to, uh, well, I mean, of course there are downsides, but not nearly as many. All pieces negative one speed. And then this one, Queen's moves are limited to one square per 15 turns. I don't know if that's as good as it sounds. It sounds amazing. Knights can be a real pain in the butt. They really can. You gotta, you gotta be careful. Uh, look at me not being careful. Look at me already in, in a bad situation right now. Um. Okay, let's move over here. Oh, we need to get rid of this rook. Yeah, and that's that. That is that. There's nothing I can do now. 100% created my own situation there. I didn't realize there was another rook, but I just created that new rook. You can really easily, this has got to be one of the most like punishing games because like you can, you can ruin everything in one turn, not even two turns, like one turn and you're done. Um, but that's okay. That just means I need to play good. Not just like a little bit good, not good sometimes. All the all the good. I feel like uh, ammo regeneration was added. Like there is ammo regeneration via some cards, but it, it feels like we already have ammo regeneration. Before we had ammo regeneration via a wand. Charge one additional shell and your royal shotgun. Add two knights at the start of turn twenty. Plus three ammo max, destroying a rook gives two ammos. Add one rook. Let's do this. I like the cavalry one because it it's not super threatening. Hopefully by turn 20, we've eliminated some of the threat. So having like more threats added is honestly not a big deal. Is there honestly anywhere I can go where the, the king could not, or the sorry, the knight could not put me in threat. I think where I am currently. So I may as well shoot and then shoot again so that I know that we can do that. And we're on the black square so we're going to want to stay on the black square to get rid of this bishop. Look at that. We got a little bit of damage on that um, rook as well. This works for me. And then we can just um, you know hit the king. We have three shots. Sometimes shooting, even if you don't think you can get all of the shot to hit your target is better because sometimes not moving is better than moving. Uh, extra soul slot, plus one ammo. Uh, I like this one, removes two pawns, add one rook. This is not great. I'd rather have this, this sabotage is, uh, wait, add one rook. Still, two pawns is better than removing two pawns. The pawns are honestly very helpful. But uh, that fire arc. The fire arc is really good. We can always add more pawns via other cards. Having, well, there's only two rooks right now. Two rooks is like the maximum that one should um, allow. Oh, 
Honestly, the worst is if pieces get into some kind of sync and rhythm where like as soon as one has moved, the other one can move. So that basically you're always in threat. You can never Yeah. You can you can never like move and shoot, basically. There we go. Alright, that extra range or sorry, uh, reduced reduced spread is actually doing a lot for us. Plus one firepower for each empty soul slot. Interesting. I like this a lot, actually. I haven't seen that card before. And it uh, encourages me to use my soul cards. Do you think I will? Do you think I'll do that? I think I will. So we have increased firepower now. Oh, that's in threat as well. Uh, Alright, we'll move here. We can, ooh, that was a nice shot. Nice shot on that queen. Fire, fire again. Fire a third time. We got rid of everything. So now we just have the one bullet left. We're gonna expect, um, what turn is this? Turn 15, we can expect a couple of horses eventually. But, uh, you know, I think we're good. We'll move around a little bit. Get our, our, our ammo back. There we go. Perfect. Although I, I, I had a soul card and I didn't use it. Did you did you see that? Your bullets pierce through one target. Oh, that's neat. neat. Pawns plus one HP. Remove one rook. Add six pawns. Interesting. This is a really nice attack. Uh, or sorry, card. I, I like this card a lot. Add three pawns. Remove one knight. Add three pawns. Both of these add pawns. This one adding... Uh, removing a rook is nice. Adding six pawns is also nice. Pawns plus one HP sucks, but if we can pierce through the pawns, it means we're creating a wall that we can shoot through exclusively. So that is really nice. The The extra HP on the, the pawns might actually be good for us. Let, let's try this. Oh, you know, the thing is, I, as much as I do want to try this, I feel like it would be really foolish of me to shoot through that pawn and potentially kill it. So do... Oh my god. Oh, that's really frustrating. <laughs> I actually stopped myself from doing it once, moved instead, and then did it anyway on the second turn. That's really frustrating because that could have been a potential, like, really good run. So, that's a bummer. Not, not happy with myself about that one at all. No, that's, that's less than ideal. Okay. There we go. Maybe we can get that card again. Not cardigan. Card again. White King, negative 3 HP. A new pawn joins the fight every four turns. This is nice. This is not great. King and Queen, negative 1 HP. Uh, more pawns. New pawn joins the fight. I don't like the ne le negative fire range. Uh, the nerf on the Queen. I have yet to see like the effects of that. But I think that would be ideal. The extra HP on the pawns is a bit of a bummer. And if we also, like, if we're in a, put in a position where um, we can potentially make the pawns have more speed, then that's, like, really not great. Like, this is this is not great, I will say. They, they are like damaged sponges now. There we go. So even, even uh, at our current rate, they're like getting quite far across the board. Jump over a nearby piece, dealing it one damage. White king, negative one HP. Increase bishops and pawn speed. No. Add two pawn, add one rook. Extra soul slot, plus one ammo max. I mean, uh... I think this is one of the, the weakest 
a, you know, um, card choices, but I, I can't, I cannot give the pawns more speed. Can't do it. Okay, this is the perfect spot because we couldn't be in threat. And the rook's in a great position right now because we couldn't, like, there's no, nowhere they could go that they could put us in threat. Those are the kind of situations we want to create for ourselves. Better uh, spread is good. Deal eight damage on random enemies. I don't know what these wands do, like how to use them. But I do know I really like um, the reduced fire range or f fire arc. So the queen is meant to be nerfed. We'll see how what that means for us. Now where the I don't think the knight can go anywhere um, to put us in threat. So we're just gonna go ahead and smack smack him. Um, King is in a great position right now. Hundred percent want to take advantage of that. That was great. That's a that was a perfect situation. I know we have two souls. I will use them when I need to use them. Plus six ammo max. White king plus two HP can't do it. Remove one pawn. Add one bishop. Negative one ammo max. This is fine and reduced even more reduced fire arc. We we now have a sniper rifle. Nine degrees of arc, fire arc. Look at that. Now all we need is increased. Um, fire range and and we could like do the shotgun king equivalent of a blitzkrieg it's fantastic we just need more ammo honestly wow that bishop really really came for me didn't he Yeah, the nerf on the queen is kind of almost, a, dare I say, overpowered. Um, okay. Like, they don't put us in threat anymore, right? I am a little bit concerned about our situation, I won't lie. Um, let's, let's move up. Four damage. We need more ammo. There's our there's our one ammo, and then I think this is a, a win. Yes. So that uh, that that firing that spread, super good. Extra ammo max would be really nice. White king extra health is not great. Remove one bishop, add two knights, not great. Extra soul slot plus one ammo max, not great. Add six pawns though. Yeah, I think that this is actually better for us. More soul space is fine. Uh, you know, I, I'm not super making use of it right now, but more pawns is good for us because we can get rid of pawns. You know, we can we can take them out. But like the pawns, as I say, I feel like they do a lot for uh, for us because they create a situation in which the enemy is like blocked, and we can kind of pick things off one by one. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this situation, I won't lie. I want to I wanna snipe the king. Um, okay, the bishop is about to move. They're probably going to move as close to me as they can. I think I can move here because the queen's... Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Um, I guess I can move here, even though I will be in threat in the next turn. Oh, interesting. Why am I in threat there? Let's, uh, let's move. Um... You know what? Did I just, like, put myself in check, mate? I think I did. I think I did. I think I just ruined everything with that move. Yep. That was that was not that was not good. I had a perfect 
set up there and I 100% threw it away. Yeah, you can really, you can really throw the game in this if you want to. Clearly that's what I want every single game is to throw it away completely. Um, that's what I like. I enjoy that. I enjoy losing. Um, don't question it. All right. All right. Uh, this is fine. We can get rid of that rook. Do some damage to the king. I like to put as many things into the spread as I can. Oh, that was dumb. Dumb, dumb move by me. You know. I, I think I took good cards last time. Non-king pieces. Add two bishops at the start of turn 20. This is fine. Extra fire range. Add three pawns is really good. This non-king pieces can't come near you is like excellent. But um, add three pawns and plus two fire range, I think it's just a win-win. Listen, I, I'm sure I'm gonna get comments that are like, you're, you're uh, dead, you know, like, uh, what would you call it? You're dying on the hill of this like pawn strat and it's not working for you. Uh, you maybe, maybe you're right, but if I was just better at the game, it would work. <laughs> it would, trust me. Why would you trust me? I've I've lost in like the dumbest way in the last three games. Okay, we'll move there. We'll move. Oh, we can't move there. Okay, we'll just shoot. Nothing more demoralizing than like missing your your shot. There we go. More firepower. Pawns can walk two squares on their first move. This is dangerous. I don't like this, but I prefer it to pawns can move and attack in four directions, add one pawn. I don't like this. The best thing uh, about the pawns is that they can only move forward, so you can at least work around that. Um, them being able to have like orthogonal movement is the worst. We're already hitting the, the king. This is really good. Oh. That was interesting. The king actually moved, like, intelligently. It moved back, which is something I don't see them do very often. Honestly, I just want to move here because, like, there's nowhere the rook could go to put us in threat. That way we can do damage to both the rook and the king. I feel like I need to do more movement like that, that um, essentially uh, makes it so that the, the enemy cannot put me in, in threat as easily. Strafe mode is one of my favorite cards in the game. I love it a lot. I wonder if it works with, it probably doesn't work with double barreled or whatever that move is. So unfortunately the queen is back to being absolute hacks nonsense. Fortunately, though, we have the ultimate wall of pawns here, so it meant we could kind of um, cut her off from the rest of the battalion. And uh, that, that definitely helped a lot. So now we are going to have to deal with the rook right now. If I move here, there's nowhere the bishop can go. There's nowhere the king could go. And this is a really great setup to deal with this rook. Take care of the rook, and now we can uh, have have our way with the uh, king. Unfortunately, they just got a bunch of dudes back, but that was that was too little, too late. Plus one firepower. Remove one pawn. Add one bishop. This isn't. I don't like this. I don't like this either. I don't like either of these. These both are terrible. But extra firepower, I guess, is what we're gonna go with. That, uh, that movement for the pawns almost works to my advantage. A little bit. <sighs> okay. 
All right, we're, we're making smarter moves, I think. What I'd like to do is I'm going to move here because the rook can't get me from there. Oh, actually, yes, they, yeah, they can. And in fact, if they went there and I was here, I don't know if there's anywhere I could go. I would have put myself in checkmate. So I'm just going to hit the queen. Oh, all right, I'm in check. Damn it. I need to deal with this rook. Really wish I could shoot. Uh, oh, wait a minute, we can. I forgot, we had the strafe. I actually took that for great reason. Okay, we're in, we're in a lot of danger right now. I'm still in danger there, oh my god. Can we shoot this pawn? All oh, right, we're right, we're in check still. I think we're in checkmate. Yo, I honestly don't think there was anything I could do there. I thought I played that as well as I could have. Honestly. Okay, we can try this. This might actually work. It's, it's gonna pretend like it's a lose, but it's not a lose because I was able to, um, yeah, you, you get it. That was, that was very close, but I managed to pull that one back. I need to get rid of that queen. We did actually manage to get rid of that queen. Amazing. How much do the, the king has all their health right now. I'm going to move over here. Stops the, the pawn from moving. Gets close to the bishop. Shoot both of them. And then um, we need to, I need more ammo. <laughs> I also need to do any damage to the king right now. Four damage is not gonna cut it. It's gonna take two turns to get our ammo back. Okay, that's it. I can't believe we, I, that, that was actually good. I actually played like well. Add two bishops, move one square further per knight, soul owned. I don't like this one. Remove one bishop, add six pawns. This one's nice does create kind of a problem for us because there is a lot of pawns right now, but it, I don't know. This, uh, I think this is just a better option for us. I don't know, I, we do have two fire range, so we can spare one fire range. This is one fire range, yeah, okay. So, yeah, comes with a, a cost for sure. All right. That was, that was pretty good. <sighs> We're already in a not great situation. I need to get rid of some of these pawns. Swear if that was checkmate, that would, that would bum me out so much. Okay, I'm gonna move here. Probably not a great situation, actually. Oh yeah, I don't have any anything in the chamber right now. Um, this is this would be checkmate, but I'm going to try and make it work for me. I am gonna. Oh, can I? Okay, now yeah, you got to do them in in an order. All right, that that worked out. So now I wanna. What I wanna do is yeah this is okay what made me think this was okay nothing about this is okay i don't know why i thought this was okay at all oh okay um listen it's uh it was a risk but it worked out for us <laughs> Um, the strafe really, really helps. Queen moves are limited to three squares. Add one queen. I don't like that. Extra soul slot plus one ammo. Listen, I'm going to take this one for the uh, reduced fire arc because that, as we know, is really nice. And we do have really nice firepower right now. So this could be it. We need more fire, uh, sorry, more fire range. But... Right now, um, this is this is gonna work out. 
And look at that. I mean, we're doing we're doing really nice damage to the king like right away. In fact, we might be able to take them out. Yes. Oh my goodness. Could could we win, do you think? Do you think we could win? Your bullets pierce through one target. Oh, uh, I can't do this. You can play an extra turn after using a soul card. Queens can't die. Decrease queen speed. Oh my god. Okay, well, we'll take this only because uh, the, the actual card is better for us. Queens can't die. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to move forward and then we get to use, we get to another turn. So we're going to shoot twice. Oh, we'll shoot once actually. <laughs> Are we in range right? Or, uh, oh, it's the, the bishop. The bishop has actually got us in their grips. I like the, the extra added uh, sound effect to let us know that the uh, <laughs> the queen took no damage there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another shot. Oh, that was it. We did it. That reduced fire arc is so good. So good. We're we're on our way here. Plus two firepower. Ooh, I don't know. Refill your ammo and reload your gun. Add two knights. I think this is better. I don't know when fire, uh, the, the wands take effect. I don't know how to use them. I'm not sure what their deal is. Click to use it. Oh, you can just use it whenever. Damn. Um, if I go here, is there anywhere? Yeah, the king can go somewhere. However, I... Oh, I can't go there. The bishop is gonna stomp us. We'll go here instead. This is nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. And we're gonna... Wait, no. Uh, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna take a shot. Do I want the bishop or the... I, I kind of want the, the king. Or sorry, the knight. I always say that. I don't know why I say that. And I'm going to go like this. And then we're going to take out the bishop as well. And the uh, the pawn moving there was actually very ideal for us. So are we in range right now of, of our threat range of the queen? Yeah. So not great. So um, we're gonna we're gonna move. We're actually not in a great situation right now. So I gotta get rid of those pawns. They're creating a problem for us. Oh right. Um I don't like this. These queens are a problem. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move back and that will basically reduce their movement and then I'm gonna move forward and I get another shot. But we're not gonna shoot the pawn, we're gonna right click the king and move forward. There we go. All right, actually making some good moves now. Amazing. Non-king pieces can't move, come, this is amazing, but uh, that pawn movement I can never abide by. Bishops can move across obstacles, hate it. Hate this also, white king plus two HP. I don't like any of this, so we'll, I guess we'll take this one because that uh, August presence, I'm not sure what that means. I, I wouldn't mind looking that up. That August presence is going to be very good for us. We're just going to take some pieces out. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my wand. I have not forgotten about my wand. I know I have it, and it's going to be very important for us. But right now, honestly, the best moves were just taking, taking pieces out with us. 
Are we gonna win? Jump over a nearby piece, dealing it one damage. White King, negative one HP. This is nice, but plus one ammo regeneration, plus one fire range is really cool. All pieces, negative one speed, add two knights, add two rooks. This is great. This is fantastic. I couldn't ask for better, honestly. It's gonna be tricky, make no mistake, but I think we can do it. We have the range. We have the ability to take out P the 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 king. The I, I did it again, didn't I? Take out the uh, the knights as they move forward. We've done it. Oh my goodness. Yo, checkmate. So what do we got coming up? Oh, there we go. So many years worth of new subjects, so much work to make them feel welcome and safe. All reduced to glass shards by one royal fucker with a shotgun. The White King would not indulge this. Not one more floor, quite literally bursting with rage, he loomed out to crush this egotistical maniac. Oh, is it a boss? Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> Chonker King has entered the call. <laughs> Yo. It's okay. It's okay. We got a shotgun. I'm assuming we really don't want them to, to get any closer to us. How much health do they have? A lot of health? My goodness. Okay, let's say... Uh, I don't know if I want to use that now, if I'm being honest. Let's start shooting this guy. Five damage. He has 16 health. Oh, right. The pawns can move orthogonally. I did actually kind of forget about that. Let's use this now. Um, I am a little bit worried about our situation here, if I'm being honest. Fortunately, the Chonker was so large, he actually kind of uh, blocked all of his troops from coming forward. And so it was that the Wrath of the Black King finally carried him to victory. His turn to steal the White King's castle and subjects. They would have to endure his terrible rule once again. Cheer up, he would tell them. At last thou didn't get blown to pieces. At least, at least thou didn't get blown to pieces. As he upheld his shotgun and laughed, undefeated, he had learned nothing. It wouldn't be too long before a new white king rises up and the whole story starts anew. And that's it. Yo, victory. Victory, and I am assuming, oh yeah, we have endless mode, climb a never-ending dungeon, pushing back the white army as far as you can. And then uh, I assume we have hard mode, single barrel shotgun. Okay, that, there, there is, that. so the old mode is now hard mode. I'm not sure, do we want to do easy mode just to complete it once? I'm getting very ahead of myself. I've only won once, but now apparently I have, I can just win whenever I want. I might want to do easy mode just to complete it. Why not? Um, but anyway, this has been Shotgun King, uh, our first win. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.